we hear about this Spire Racing, and it's kind of been in and out of the news. Spire Racing. This is made up of Jeff Dickerson and TJ Pusher. The president is Doug Ducard. These cup cars are the number seven of LaJoy, 71 of Zane Smith, 71 of Hosvar. Oh, my God. They got three cup teams. Spire Racing. That's not all. They have three truck teams. Raja Karuth, the 71, um, and other, other drivers that I really don't know of. I just know that Raja stands out. Uh, that ain't all. They own three hockey teams. Okay? <laughs> this, this yeah, I'm laughing with you. There's a little bit more to this Spire than, than meets the eye. They are in the entertainment industry. And I hear that Spire is really hooked up with uh, Rick Hendrick, uh, Track House. Will Spire, here's the question, everybody. Will Spire be the next big thing? And here's why. How in the world did they just hire one of the top crew chiefs in our industry of Rodney Childers? So, Charlie, I'm going to ask you the question. Little sleeping giant over here, Spire. They just hired for next year. Rodney Childers is leaving the now defunct Stuart Haas and going to Spire next year. Is Spire the next big team? What do you think? It seems like it, it'd be interesting, too, if they kind of jumped track house to be the next big thing. Because I think most people thought track house would, would get there. And Ross Chastain has kind of taken a bit of a step back. When, when you told me we were going to discuss this, the first thing I thought of was I find it kind of interesting that Spire moved on from Corey LaJoy. And as you said, you got Childers, but you need a big name driver. I know there's been some reports about about Kyle Busch, but he's under contract. So who knows what could happen, not next year, but even the year after that. But what I find interesting, do you remember last year when Chase Elliott wasn't Chase Elliott? He, he missed a race. He was suspended, whatever it was. And Corey LaJoy filled in for him. At St. And Lewis. I remember. Yes. So I remember Corey LaJoy's press conference. And he was talking about how, how big time Hendrick was, right? Like all the information, all the data that he got at Hendrick that he didn't get at Spire. And I don't think when he said that, by the way, he was trying to throw Spire under the bus. But I find it interesting now that here's Spire a year later trying to become a Hendrick, and then they move on from Corey LaJoy. So there's probably a lot of truth to that, though. But here's Spire, th this little team at the time, but they're trying to become a big dog. And then they move on from Corey LaJoy. I think, I think they could be is my answer, but you got to have at least one big-name driver or you got to have one of those young drivers really take a step and become a playoff driver. Yeah, I'm a little jaded. That means I know a little bit too much about this. If you, uh, if there's anybody listening that knows a lot about racing, if you start peeling the layers back, when Spire started, it, it had it kind of at the bottom there uh, the Agajanian group. So the Agajanian group is a very strong group that's been in racing for years. Uh, you know, Kerry Agajanian, uh, Indianapolis 500, STP is the racers that you, you go out there, you see Agajanian, their, their history started at the Indianapolis 500. They're a group that are business people and they get sponsorship. Um, the reason I wanted to bring this subject up is because Spire also is a diverse program. So in other words, diversity, uh, but I see, I see a lot going on that makes me go, all I'm saying, Charlie is, we're calling it, okay? The, they've been around, but now I know that Hendrick is in there. I know that they were big with Chip Ganassi. I know that NASCAR likes them because of the diversity program. Uh, they are able to acquire sponsorship after sponsorship. They are the team that gets the most sponsors. They are the ones that have been in the news spending $40 million on a charter. So... I don't want to be redundant, but I just don't believe you hire Rodney Childers to pick up a driver that's just starting out. I, I Here's what I think. I think they called Rodney up and they said, Rodney, we're going to take that next step. It's time. 
Carson Hosovar run eighth at the Brickyard. Uh, Zane Smith running pretty good. Uh, now, in the news, Charlie, they just let Corey LaJoy go for next year. Mm-hmm. So that means Rodney Childers gets to choose the driver. I mean, does the team choose the driver or does Rodney Childers to choose the driver? Charlie, clip this for me and you. I think that they brought Rodney Childers in to, like, bring the team up to the next level. I think they're going to hire a big-time driver because uh, they're going to need one. They got Zane Smith. They got Carson Osovar. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, I always tell people when they want to sign a contract with me, I said, oh, you mean an agreement? Because all contracts are made to get out of. You could be right. You could be right. You know, um, Kyle Bush, everybody keeps saying, oh, he's staying at Childers. Well, okay. You know, uh, RCR, I mean, you know. But I just really think that's the next big team. And, boy, when when you Google them, it's like, it's like, whoa. I didn't know about that. Um, what's the deal with the three hockey teams? Do you know anything about that? I have an article here that says Jeff Dickerson of Spire Sports. He is the new owner of the Troy Riviere's Lions, the ECHL affiliate of the Montreal Canadiens. So we're talking minor league for at least that team. You know, you know yeah, they have cra- Spire hockey. You know, it's crazy. All these business people that I talk to, they see some type of transaction in these minor league hockey teams. What, what is the deal there? Have you heard? Charlie, you're the big sports or Everybody that wants to do business, they buy these hockey teams up. Must be some type of deal. Okay, uh, I got it here. Okay. So this article, it's from the Hockey News. And Good stuff. By the way, so I'm, uh, I'm from Toledo, Ohio, where the ECHL, when I was growing up, that was the Toledo Storm. That was our minor league team. I see that was right here. Yeah, so basically they have three teams. Yep. It says, the Lions became the third ECHL franchise owned by Spire Hockey, along with the Rapid City Rush, which is a Calgary Flames affiliate. Rapid City, South Dakota, basically Sturgis. I'll be yep. landing there next week. And here's a good name. This would be a good T-shirt or hat. The Greenville, <laughs> nice. the Greenville Swamp Rabbits. Swamp Ass. That's an, <laughs> Swamp Rabbits. That's an L.A. Kings affiliate. So they have yeah. three minor league teams. and. They they are part owner of my dear friend Bob Sargent, who we just interviewed. It says right here, and Short Track Promotions Company Track Enterprise, uh, which is my buddy. So they buy everything. You got to have money. Now, the reason we went a little long on this subject is you and I are, you know, it's kind of like, dun, 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 dun. You know, and that's the dun, rest. Dun. Yeah, and that's the rest of the story. This spire is way bigger than we think they are. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy. We don't have any money. You buy a $40 million charter, you own three hockey teams, three cup teams, three truck teams. Henrik is their buddy. Track house and them are partner up on. You know, the next thing you're gonna be doing is is, is uh concerts, right? That's the next thing. Everybody wants to do a concert. Until something goes bad at the concert and they don't got enough insurance, but mm-hmm. uh, that's the next thing. Well, all right. Uh, who is that driver going to be? We still haven't answered ourselves. Everybody, respond right here. Who is going to drive for Spire? And let's put it a little more simple. Who is going to be Rodney Childers' driver? Because Rodney Childers, one of the number one crew chiefs in all of all of NASCAR. Respond right here to Charlie and myself. Who is going to be that big time driver that takes Spire to number one? Little Birdie tells me Spire's going to become big time. I have people in the industry telling me, Spire called me. Spire called me. I know a little more. I just can't talk about it. <laughs> mm, that's interesting. Yeah. Kyle Bush, I will say, maybe Kyle Bush doesn't move on until. After the 2025 season, but uh, Kyle Bush does not seem like he's having fun this year. Mm-mm, he just no. seems every press conference I watch, I know he's had terrible luck. He just seems miserable this year. He really does. And he's over there in Italy right now. So I'll put L-E-S, Les Miserables. You know, the play. You <laughs> Les Miserables. 
Yeah, whatever you call it. I call it miserable. <laughs> okay, Charlie, we've had good time here. Everybody respond to that. We that was specifically, you know, have given you great two topics. Will you miss NASCAR because of two weeks off? Will the miserable people that love NASCAR, are you going to miss complaining? Number two, who is going to be uh, the next big team? Spire, who's going to drive for Rodney Childers, the new crew chief over there in 2025?